Hey guys, today I wanted to make this video before all the big YouTubers get sponsored by Walmart and Target promoting this type of deal. So Walmart has its own exclusive mystery box promoted by Wizards of the Coast, the official brand. This is the Magic the Gathering website. When's the last time you saw your local game store on the official Magic the Gathering website? Well, if you're Walmart, you see every day. So it is a official product. It's called a Planeswalker because you get one Kaladesh, one A for Revolt, one Amarket, one Hour of Devastation, one Ixlon, and two mystery packs from Magic the Gathering Modern History. It's available at Walmart, not your local game store. Why this is so interesting is what if they made a set and they called it 25th anniversary and you couldn't buy your local game store, you had to buy a Walmart. Could I see that happening for 25th anniversary? No, not that soon. But I could see it happening in 2018 where you have an entire set only available at a big box retailer. Things have changed. If you go on Wizard of the Coast social media, they're promoting Walmart. They're promoting Target. They're promoting this uh, supermarket up north. They would rather have you buy from these places than from your local game store. Most local game stores will survive, but many will stop carrying magic and many will stop providing play spaces for magic because it's not profitable. Now, this is the beginning of the end. These uh, mystery packs unlock hidden secrets. Like, I thought it was some random dude, like in a dollar store with like a gigantic collection in his basement and he was making like packs, right? But it turns out this is an official Wizard of the Coast sponsored i i'm positive you've all seen it on in your targets in your walmart we'll get to target a little later will amazon have its own version probably like it's crazy to me they have a gift pack and then now they have this it's one too many products and second it's really really trying to get you to gamble right it's called mystery packs they could have called it repacks or repacks of packs Unlock hidden secrets is the catchphrase. So it's a mystery planeswalker pack. And here's the interesting part. You do get a planeswalker. You're guaranteed one planeswalker in this mystery pack, which is kind of a good idea for casual players. They're hitting casual players really, really hard. And they're trying to take casual players away from your local game store. FNM promos have now become tokens. Saturday is now like the competitive day. I I don't know what to say except game stores who carry magic are not going to carry magic anymore because it's literally not profitable. It's one thing for Walmart to have iconic masters. It's a totally different thing for Walmart to have this. What are the profit margins of this? And you might be like, oh, this product's not great. It depends on what the profit margin is. If Wizard of Coast charged $2 for one of these, and the mystery planeswalker pack where it contains one premium foil planeswalker card and seven booster packs including two mystery packs i mean how dumb do they think we are like it's so crazy that the x we went from no mythics to having all the good cards be mythics and then having to buy more packs to get four tamagoy so to get four jc mind scope there's which it hit over $100 in standard, and that was insane that everyone needed four Jaces, otherwise you can't win. Then to the Mythic of Mythics, the Foil Mythic, right? The Expedition, the Masterpieces, if you will. Now we're, now they're literally selling, this is Wizards of the Coast, this is Magic the Gathering's website. They're literally selling and promoting mystery boxes. I... <laughs> It's stunning just the turnabout face that they have where they say, oh, we love local game stores. Okay, we're going to take away your FNM promos and we're also going to make pre-release harder for you and we're also going to give you so much inventory that you can't move it. Oh, and by the way, you know that Walmart near you? Yeah, that's going to be your main competitor. You know that Amazon? Yeah, we like Amazon too. And now we're in this scenario where they're promoting mystery planeswalkers this is the, what's next, right? A box where it's 10 mystery planeswalkers? Would a casual player buy that? Yes, they would buy it. 
And before you say, oh, this is not a good deal, this is not a good deal, it doesn't matter if it's a good deal or not. A lot of you don't understand. People are buying on Kong Masters at $10 a pack or $30.99 for a draft set because it's easy. They go shopping, they see the pack, it's an in-post buy, right before they check out, they buy the pack. And because they bought the pack there, they're not going to go to your local game store, which is another trip. Do people go to Walmart and Target for food? Yes. I mean, one of them is like a supermarket, right? Major is a supermarket. Let's say you're shopping for food. Oh, Iconic Masters out. Cool. Let me buy this uh, $30.99 pack. Okay, cool. So a lot of what you don't, what I have to explain to you in very simple terms is people pay a premium for convenience. People pay a premium. There's a reason that the space in Walmart is so coveted and so expensive. You don't, Walmart doesn't pay you to stock their stuff. You pay Walmart to have the honor of having your product out there. And I told the Cliff Bar example, I told the Ben and Jerry's example, if Walmart didn't want to stock Cliff Bar, it would be Cliff Bar on its knees begging. It would be Wizards of the Coast on its knees begging. Let's say Walmart says, nah, we're going to stock Pokemon. Would Pokemon like that? Yes, Pokemon would like that. They would have more room to stock different items. Hey, Wizards of the Coast, we need you to give us a mystery box and you're going to, we're going to pay $2 for it and we're going to sell it for like $25. You good? Oh, you're not good? Well, what if we don't stock Monopoly or My Little Pony and we stock your competitors? You still good? So, what amazing premium planeswalkers can you get you can out you get elspeth which is not bad tesseret is not too bad cough is kind of more expensive jace aot chandra pyro genius nissa nicole boles which is a five dollar card ajani tesseret master metal liliana death i mean these are okay i mean elspeth sun's champion i think is like a ten dollar card again if these are the additional bonuses, yes, this is better than FNM promo. I've always wondered why FNM promos were so crappy, and then it became so obvious. Of course, they're not going to give you good cards. They're going to give the good cards to Walmart and Target. So imagine you went to FNM and everyone got a booster pack. In that booster pack contained a random one of these planeswalkers. Would more casual players play at FNM? Yes. Is it that simple? Is the solution really that simple? It is, because I guarantee you they're going to buy these as hotcakes. These are going to sell out incredibly well. And Wizard of Coast promotes it on the main website. I am, I'm over it. This is just the way stuff is. So I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to say, hey, if you buy from Walmart and you buy from Target, it's your own trend. This is the current trend. There's no way to fight it because the company that produces Magic Gathering is pushing everyone towards not buying from the local game store and buying from big box. Oh, you might ask, oh, does Target have like a special pack too? Yes, Target has an exclusive pack, which is slightly different. It's called a mystery cache. Think about this for a moment. It's You have two different products. Like, right, because Target or Walmart was like, nah, we don't want the same product. Make us a different product. The Mystery Cache will have uh, five booster packs, including one mystery pack. So the Walmart, I think, is more expensive, I assume, because there's more packs and there's that random planeswalker. I don't know. But the Mystery Cache is going to be available at Target. So you have two unique products not sold at your local game store, not pr being promoted at all for your local game store, targeting the core base of Magic Gathering, which is the casual player. Giving a casual player, like, let, let's say FNM promo or random foil plane talker. Pick one that you want, casual player. What do you think the casual player is going to spend their money on? Not the FNM promo, not getting good at Magic. He's just going to open this box and have fun, which is great. It's great. I have seen people talk about magic is not going to die. It's just going to change. These stores have to change. They have to evolve. They're probably going to carry more singles. They're probably all going to have to go to digital. You're not going to rely on selling boxes. These stores for the longest time has have had a monopoly on these master sets and they've made ham on them. Good or bad, remember Modern Masters 1? They were... 
MSRP was only $6.99. These stores are charging $18 and $20. So I don't feel too bad for them because eventually this was the outcome even then. The writing is on the wall. You can see the mystery cachet. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? Walmart has the mystery planeswalker box and this one, Target has a mystery cachet because apparently they didn't negotiate for a planeswalker. So Target... I assume had less negotiating power than Walmart and Walmart was like, all right, throw in an extra planeswalker too. It's insane, uh, but it's reality. So like, don't fight reality. It, reality is very clear. It's, it's so obvious what's going to happen. Like, I don't understand why people on YouTube are not saying this is going to happen. It's already happening, like in front of you right now. The most powerful buying group is the casual player the casual player who does does not go to fnm normally the casual player who never has gone to a gp the casual player who's not going to travel for magic the kitchen table player they are the king and this is their product there is no better product for them than getting a random random booster packs that are mysteries it's a lottery they like playing the lottery I can't blame them. I mean, I like the lottery too. And that's why my local games, my game store is not going to carry any of this stuff. We're going to carry singles and reserve list cards and we're going to be strictly pretty much digital. We're not going to have room for people to play because that's very low expected value. Like, unfortunately, I wish it wasn't the case. But if a local game store has a model like that where they compete very very aggressively like Rudy has a very good model he sells his boxes on a subscription basis I think last time he said he had like a thousand or plus subscribers all paying him ten dollars a month and some of them buying boxes at higher than they could buy at maybe even Walmart for instance or Target that's the future of a store Darium Darium I don't know if you guys remember him but he had a very very clear path to how a store would operate I mean his Pokemon channel was blew up and that's what it is so if you want to sell magic cards in the future you're going to need to build your reputation you're going to need to have a unique offering and you're going to have to understand that unless you are rudy you can't buy boxes and hold them forever and hope they go up in price rudy has an out his out is his patreons the majority of stores don't even, I would assume, have very poor websites or not even any websites. There was a store I recently talked to, a very large store. They don't have a website. Like he gave me the website. I, I went on it. I was like, wait, this, there's nothing on it. He's like, yeah, I know. I own the domain. I was like, no, dude, this is a lot different from like owning the domain and having an active website where you can sell all your inventory. And this is a guy who wanted to sell me like $100,000 of inventory. He didn't have a website. Like... He's got to get a website. Otherwise, under this model, he cannot rely on boxes to... It, it's not reliable to rely on any of these boxes to make you money. Not anymore. Anyway, uh, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.